Hi guys, welcome to my JavaScript tutorial. Today we'll be writing a program that checks whether a string is a, palind is a palindrome and returns true if it is or false if it's not. Okay, this is the statement of the problem. Okay, first of all, let, before going further, let's see what a palindrome is. Okay, this is from the dictionary. A word, phrase, or sequence that, that reads the same backwards as forward. Example, madame. Let's say if you reverse madame, you will still get madame. If you reverse that, you will still get that. So both are palindromes. Okay. Now let's go to our uh, algorithm. Okay, this is our algorithm. This is these are the steps we are going to follow to write the problem. So it's an iterative algorithm. So it's it's also possible to write it using func func functional approach. Okay, there are functions we can use the reversed function, uh, the reverse method, the, the strip method, and the rest. Okay, so let's do iterative approach first so let's just start coding the first step is to declare a function named is palindrome so let's just follow up and do it function is palindrome is palindrome and pass it is a, a, a string parameter Okay. okay, that's it. Next step, declare and initialize a variable reverse as an empty string. So, let's see, let's call it reverse as an empty string. This is how we declare it as an empty string. And the next step is to loop from the first character of string to the last. So, let's use our for loop in this case. So, we can use a for loop. With the new syntax for var calf string. Okay, var calf string. Then append the content of the reverse variable to each character. So we say that we should append the content of the reverse variable to each character. Car plus reversed. Then save it in, in the reverse variable. Assign it to the reverse variable. Okay. The next step, I think this is the last step. Well, here what we have done here is string reversal. So we have just reversed the string. Now to test whether it is a palindrome or not, this is how we're going to do it. Use return. Return. Reversed. Using the strict uh, equality sign. This is a Boolean expression. This value is a Boolean expression. So it returns true or false. If this expression is true, if it is, if a reverse is equal to string, it returns true. If it is not, it returns false. So let's test a function. Console dot log. Let's just copy and paste. Okay, let's use um, let's pass in madam okay run it it returns true okay this is it let's but pa let's pass pass in that it, it, it returns true so this is it so this is a function and it works perfectly so thank you thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe for more i will be getting very more more interesting videos in the future so.